Have you ever felt manipulated or belittled by someone close to you? A chilling question, but one that resonates with many of us. This may be a sign that you're dealing with a narcissist. Narcissism, a term rooted in Greek mythology, is more than just self-love or vanity. It's a deep-seated pattern of behavior that can have profound effects on relationships. Today, we're going to explore this intriguing psychological concept, its toxic patterns, and how they manifest in our day-to-day -day interactions. We'll examine real-life case studies that illustrate these patterns, shedding light on how narcissists manipulate and control their surroundings. Understanding narcissism isn't just about labeling people, it's about recognizing the signs and preventing harm to ourselves and our relationships. So if you've ever wondered why certain individuals seem to drain you emotionally or make you feel insignificant, you're in the right place. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the world of narcissism. Narcissism, a term often thrown around loosely, but what does it truly entail? To understand narcissism, we must first delve into the realm of psychology. At its core, narcissism is a personality disorder, clinically known as Narcissistic Personality Disorder, or NPD. It's characterized by a grandiose sense of self-importance, a lack of empathy, and an intense craving for admiration. But it's more than just an inflated ego or self-absorption. Narcissism is a complex interplay of mental and emotional facets that can significantly impact relationships and interactions. Now, it's crucial to differentiate between self-love and narcissism. While both involve a degree of self-focus, they are fundamentally different. Self-love is a healthy practice of caring for oneself, recognizing one's worth, and nurturing one's emotional well-being. On the other hand, narcissism, particularly in its pathological form, can lead to a skewed perception of self and others, often resulting in manipulative behaviors and a lack of regard for others' feelings. The characteristics of narcissism can be quite distinctive. Narcissists often have an exaggerated sense of self-worth, believing they are superior to others. They can be preoccupied with fantasies about success, power, brilliance, or perfect love. Narcissists typically require excessive admiration and can show arrogant, haughty behaviors or attitudes. They may take advantage of others to achieve their own ends and often exhibit envy or believe that others are envious of them. These traits can have profound effects on relationships. Narcissists may struggle to maintain healthy relationships due to their lack of empathy and their need for constant admiration. They can often appear charming and charismatic initially, but this facade usually fades over time, revealing the more manipulative and self-centered aspects of their personality. Understanding narcissism is the first step in recognizing its presence in our lives and the impact it can have on our relationships. The knowledge we gain equips us to better navigate situations involving narcissistic individuals and helps us foster healthier interactions. Now that we have a basic understanding of narcissism, let's explore its toxic patterns. Meet John, a charismatic individual but with a dark side. John exudes charm and confidence. He's the life of the party, always surrounded by a crowd, soaking up the attention. But beneath this charming exterior hides a master manipulator, a classic example of a narcissist. John's manipulative tactics are subtle, yet insidious. He often uses gaslighting, a psychological manipulation technique, where he makes others question their own reality. For instance, he might deny saying hurtful words, insisting that the other person must have misunderstood or imagined it. Over time, this causes the individuals to doubt their own memory, perception, and even sanity. Another tactic John employs is the use of guilt. He makes others feel as though they are the problem, not him. He shifts blame and never takes responsibility for his actions. When confronted, he plays the victim, turning the tables to make others feel sorry for him. John also has a knack for exploiting others' weaknesses. He keenly observes people to identify their insecurities and then uses this information to his advantage. He might belittle or criticize them, making them feel inferior and dependent on his approval. John's relationships are like a roller coaster, full of intense highs and lows. He showers his partners with affection and admiration one moment, only to devalue and dismiss them the next. This cycle of idealization and devaluation keeps his partners hooked, always hoping for the good times to return. Unfortunately, John's manipulative behavior has caused a lot of harm. 
His partners and friends often end up with low self-esteem, feeling drained, confused and emotionally scarred. They carry the burden of his actions, struggling to understand what they did wrong, not realising that they fell into the trap of a master manipulator. As we can see, John's manipulative behaviour is a clear example of narcissistic toxicity. Now, let's take a look at Lisa, a friend who always makes the conversation about herself. Lisa's interactions with her friends provide a classic example of narcissistic behaviour. You see, Lisa has a knack for turning any conversation around to focus on her, her life, her achievements or her problems, often disregarding the feelings or experiences of others. This self-centeredness is a common trait of narcissists. They often have an inflated sense of their own importance and a deep need for excessive attention and admiration. This can make them oblivious to the needs and feelings of others. Lisa, for instance, might interrupt her friend's story about a challenging day at work to talk about her own work achievements. It's not that Lisa is necessarily dismissive or uncaring, but her need for validation and recognition often takes precedence over empathetic listening. This behaviour can be toxic in friendships. It can leave Lisa's friends feeling unheard, unimportant and emotionally drained. They might start to feel like their feelings and experiences don't matter, which can lead to feelings of inadequacy or low self-esteem. They may also feel frustrated or resentful as the relationship seems to revolve solely around Lisa's needs and wants. Moreover, Lisa's friends might find themselves constantly catering to her needs, trying to boost her ego or walking on eggshells to avoid upsetting her. This can create an unhealthy power dynamic where Lisa's needs are always prioritized and her friends' needs are consistently overlooked. But remember, it's not usually Lisa's intention to harm or manipulate her friends. She's likely unaware of the impact of her behavior. Narcissists often struggle with self-awareness and empathy, making it difficult for them to understand how their actions affect others. In the end, it's crucial to recognize these patterns and understand their potential impact on relationships. Lisa's constant need for attention is a typical trait of a narcissist. Recognizing this can be the first step toward addressing the issue and fostering healthier interactions. Recognizing these toxic patterns is the first step towards dealing with a narcissist. So how can we spot these patterns? Narcissists often exhibit a consistent pattern of behavior that revolves around their own needs and importance. They may frequently talk about themselves, show little empathy towards others, and may even become aggressive or manipulative when their needs are not met. Now, having identified these patterns, how do we deal with a narcissist? Firstly, it's important to set firm boundaries. Narcissists thrive on the attention and validation of others. By setting clear boundaries, you can protect your own mental and emotional health. This could include limiting the time you spend with them or clearly communicating your expectations in your relationship. It's okay to say no and to prioritize your own needs. Secondly, consider seeking professional help. Therapists and counselors are trained to deal with complex personality disorders like narcissism. They can provide you with strategies and tools to navigate your relationship with a narcissist. Remember, it's not a sign of weakness to seek help, but a step towards empowerment. Lastly, practice self-care. Dealing with a narcissist can be emotionally draining. It's crucial to take time for yourself, to recharge and heal. This could involve anything that makes you feel relaxed and happy. Maybe a good book, a walk in the park, or even a bubble bath. Keep in mind, narcissistic behavior can often stem from a deep-seated insecurity or a past trauma, but it doesn't excuse their behavior, nor does it make it your responsibility to fix them. You can't change a narcissist, but you can control how you respond to them. It's about learning to protect yourself, your emotions, and your mental health. It's about understanding that you deserve respect and kindness and not settling for anything less. Remember, it's not about changing them, but about protecting yourself. Recognizing narcissism can be a difficult task, but it's crucial for our well-being. Throughout our journey today, we've delved into the depths of understanding narcissism, from its psychological roots to the real-world implications it has on individuals and relationships. We've explored the master manipulator, the quintessential narcissist who uses charm and cunning to bend others to their will. We've also looked at the self-centered friend, whose world revolves around their own needs, often at the expense of others. Most importantly, we've highlighted the importance of recognizing and dealing with narcissism. It's vital to remember that while it may be challenging to confront these toxic patterns, 
Understanding them is the first step towards protecting ourselves and our mental health. So, be vigilant. Be aware of the signs and don't hesitate to seek help when needed. Stay informed, stay safe, and remember, your mental health comes first.